Today's Sharp Saturday video is going to be another one in the cheapest on Amazon series. Today we're going to take a look at the cheapest tactical fixed blade knife on Amazon. This is the box it comes in. I can't wait to show you what's inside coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name's Brian. Thanks for joining me for another Sharp Saturday video where it's Saturday and we take a look at something sharp, hopefully. And as I said today, that hopefully something sharp is this, the cheapest, lowest price tactical fixed blade knife on Amazon. And I'll give you a quick sneak peek at that. And then we'll show you the rest of it right after this word from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Hog Holsters. Hog Holsters are made in the USA and Arizona, and they are without a doubt the most comfortable concealable holster I've ever tested. You can save 10% on your order at Hog Holsters by using the coupon code Survival on Purpose, all one word. That's hogholsters.com. Thanks to Hog Holsters for sponsoring today's video. Okay, here is the cheapest tactical knife on Amazon, and the price on this thing is $5.66. This knife had a 3.5 star rating with only five ratings. <laughs> only five people rated it. And it's from Link Knife. And would you look at this, look at this beast right here. It is a double-edged dagger. Man, oh man. Uh, the Amazon page says this is recommended uses for this product are outdoor and camping. Uh, the special feature is non-slip. The handle material it says is rubber the color is black. The blade material is stainless steel. The style is American. The blade length is 7.1 inches and the overall length is 12.2 inches. The product description says, and I want to read it to you, includes an easy to equip heavy duty nylon sheath for quick access and convenient storage. This is the Bowie knife for you. One thing I noticed right off the bat, I'm gonna try to get, line this up for, so you can see it, but can you, to me, it looks like the handle it's, it's concave it's this way, like, like it's either it's bent, but it doesn't look flat. It looks like this is angled up. I'm gonna exaggerate with my hand, kind of like that. Can you see that? I can't, I'm not 100% sure about it, but well, yeah, I am. It's, it's a little bent. Uh, it's a double-edged. Um, first thing I noticed, this is absolutely not a buoy, okay? There's <laughs> not a buoy knife, but I guess they don't know that in China. It is a double-edged knife, and the edge is really kind of jacked up looking, to be honest with you. I mean, the point definitely is sharp, okay? But when you look at it on, on flat, it's it's kind of almost like it's twisted a little bit. I think the, I don't know if you can see that or not. It's almost like the blade is twisted just, just a little bit. Um, rubber over molded grip. I'm assuming this is a reasonably stick tang, full tang sort of, whatever you want to call it. Um, Feels pretty good in my hand. This is the nylon sheath, they call it. I think this is more like pleather. It has a foam, like a welting in it, um, and then some very thin, here's the backside of it. Uh, we'll call this pleather. I guess it probably, it probably actually is nylon. And then you can see the, the attention to detail here at the top, uh, where they, on the, on the, uh, where the, <laughs> the foam goes in. And then when you put this thing in, you gotta be really careful. I don't trust this sheath very much, but it'll go in about that far. And then it's got a nice little snap here. And a big old belt loop here, which is gone, goes, oh, goes, well. <laughs> okay, you can either hang it, the snap goes through both sides of the belt loop. So I guess you can either put it through the top part up here, <laughs> or you can put it through the bottom and let this stick up. Um, either way, there we go. Quick access and convenient storage. All righty. Well, we're going to try to do the standard testing on this thing and, and just be completely fair as possible with it. So we're, we're putting this the same testing I would put any knife through. Hopefully it'll make it to the balance orientation and rotation device, which we got to talk about that too. But uh, first, I think, you know, it's got a double edge. It feels reasonably, reasonably sharp. Um, I think we need to do the uh, internationally recognized, standardized uh, sharpness test, the redneck sharp test, and we'll just see what happens there. So I've got my testing medium here. We're going to see if we can get any kind of a any kind of a result out of that. And this thing is absolutely not not. It's not even city slicker sharp. Okay, so <laughs> uh, but it's pretty pointy. 
It's kind of stabby, doesn't, doesn't appear too slicey. But so it's not redneck sharp. Let's see if, uh, how it does on any carving or anything. Cause this is, obviously if you try to baton with this, you're probably just gonna chew your baton up. It's a double edged knife. So it's a tactical knife. It's not a woodcraft knife, but we're still gonna give it a little bit of a, little bit of a, uh, little bit of a test here. So we're gonna see if it'll go through this right here, kind of batoning. Maybe we'll, 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 we'll use the gravity method. Let's use the gravity method and see if it'll, it'll go down like that. Split something out. So we don't have to hit on anything on the back of it. We can just tap it down like that. And I'm trying to get down in the middle of this so we can try to carve something as if um, it has the potential to carve. So we're gonna try it. But again, I wanna be fair and man. Okay, so if you, with this grind, you, you hold it steep enough, you can sort of carve it. It's almost like scraping it, but. Let's try the other side. Okay, well, it's kind of it's kind of getting that done, sort of. Brute strength and perseverance, and I just knocked all my all my curls off anyway. So, brute strength, perseverance, and ignorance, I guess. Let's see. Put you right there. Let's try some more then. <laughs> no, it's just not. Just it's not doing it. Not gonna carve. Uh, well, we're gonna see if it'll strike a ferro rod now. Obviously, I'm pretty sure this edge will strike a ferro rod, but it looks like maybe that part of the knife right here might be sharp enough to strike some sparks. So we're gonna see. We'll just take this a little bit, just this couple things here and see if we can do something with it. It was burning for just a second. Never let it be said that I didn't give the cheapest knife on Amazon every opportunity to succeed somewhere in the testing. All right, one more chance and we're done. Come on, baby, burn. <laughs> okay, oh, we endeavored and we persevered. Okie dokie, well, okay, so that was some practical testing for the uh, cheapest tactical knife, tactical fixed blade knife anyway, on Amazon. And even though this thing says the intended uses are camping and outdoors, it's pretty obvious this is not um, and a camping or outdoor knife, just like it's obvious it's not a buoy knife. This is a dagger, double-edged dagger, which uh, traditionally have been designed for darker, darker purposes than camping and outdoors. So it did not even come close to passing the redneck sharp test. Like I said, I don't think it would pass the city slicker sharp test. Um, it is really difficult to carve with. I was able to get a little bit of cur curls to start in and was able to strike a ferro rod with this little part of the blade before it turns into a blade. I guess the, the the hilt, I don't know what you call that. So anyway, but it's um it does appear to be very reasonably balanced and it's, it's pretty comfortable in your hand. And it's just a cool looking knife too. If I, was, if I was 14 years old, this would be like, oh yeah, this is the bomb right here. But as you know, here at Survival On Purpose, we're all about the science. And to that end, we maintain a state-of-the-art cutting edge testing facility we like to test uh, the aerodynamic balance of every fixed blade knife on our balance orientation and rotation device. And as you can see, if you've been watching for very long, we've had a pretty major upgrade to the balance orientation rotation device. I may even have to change the name, but we're gonna continue with our testing right now and uh, check the aerodynamic balance on this puppy here. Keep your fingers crossed for me, okay? And as always, Scientific, proper scientific method is extremely critical. Whoop, 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 whoop. So is calibration. <laughs> this might turn out to be fun. I did want to show you this. I noticed when I picked this up from the last time, this little cap on the end has gone and now we have just a nut here. So I guess this is a full stick tang with a threaded nut on it. So pretty solid, but we're gonna continue to endeavor to get this thing calibrated properly. Oh wow, this nut is loose now. <laughs> this nut is loose on the end. 
loose enough I can I can move it with my fingers so Okay, we're gonna call that one balanced. Wow. <laughs> when police officers approach Chuck Norris, they say we have the right to remain silent. Okay, so the first thing I have to admit is I had a lot of fun balance testing this one. And um, it was a lot of fun. So let me just see if I can get this thing out of here. I'll show you about how deep it was in there. Uh, oh, so it was about that deep in. So not too bad there. Um, once, once, once I got the calibration done, this thing is really fun to uh, balance test, to throw. So um, as far as that part goes, yeah, I think this is not only fun, effective, and honestly, it's, <laughs> this might qualify as the, uh, the cheapest throwing knife on Amazon because it's got a better edge and better point than all the other throwing knives. It seems it's pretty well made. You got a rubber handle, tighten that nut down there and put a little Loctite on it, you'll probably be fine. I think this thing actually, um, could be um, a good choice if you want to learn, practice learn throwing because it sticks pretty well. And, uh, they'll put a link to this thing below if you want to check it out. Again, um, I might buy some more of these just for throwing knives. That's pretty cheap. So anyway, I hope this video has been uh, somewhat informative and reasonably entertaining. I really appreciate you watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident, so be prepared. I'll see you next time.